Alrighty, y'all, welcome back. And in the last video, we went ahead and we set up our modal. So now what I wanna do is kind of build the next piece of this, which is building out these cards. So whenever you click one, it actually sets either the active account in Redux or active network. It's gonna be the pretty much the same exact styling. So let's just go ahead and first make a generic select card component. And this isn't gonna have any of that Redux specific logic at all. All it's gonna do is it's gonna have a certain type of styling, whether that card is selected or not. And then we'll reuse this whenever we add in that account or network specific logic later on. But for now, we'll keep it nice and dumb. So under components, I'm gonna make a new directory and I'm gonna call it select card. Now in here, do my normal component templating stuff, component in a styles file. And again, this component is named select card. So let's go ahead and first uh, write the props that we're gonna be passing in. So export interface select card props. Again, since I'm defining uh, props, apparently that makes my IDE lag as usual. It's so weird why it always does that. Interesting. Actually, maybe it's TypeScript trying to check everything. Who knows? Okay. Now let's see what else we can steal. So we are going to be passing in children for this because remember, just like our other components, this select card is basically just the container that has a state. Are you selected or are you not? Now it doesn't really care about what's inside it. So that's why whenever we pass in children, actually we can do this right now. We're just going to say, display whatever we pass in right in the middle of this container. Now, another prop that we're gonna be passing in is, is selected. And this is gonna be equal to a Boolean. And the reason that we are going to pass this in, and this is a pretty cool trick that we're gonna see in just a second. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this prop to this container right here, which is this container. Now, even though we don't have this setup right now, I'll show you in just a bit how we can accept or listen for this prop right here. And depending on if this is true or false, then we're gonna have a certain bit of CSS and it's gonna be like, uh, we'll make some like border or background or something, uh, some selected state, and we'll conditionally apply that CSS if this is true, or if it's not, we'll just apply the default CSS. So that's what we are going to do. And then the last thing that I'm gonna be passing in here is an on click function. And we won't write that functionality right here. We'll write it in the parent component, but basically just saying that there is gonna be some functionality where when you click this, something happens. And of course, what's gonna happen in this case is it's gonna convert is selected to true. And it's also gonna update that state in Redux. So again, all of this is gonna be written in the parent component, but we do need to accept the prop right here. So, we already have the typing for this. It's under shared types, and it's just called generic void function. Basically a function that doesn't return anything at all. And we're gonna be passing that in as on click. And then we will just say that in addition to this, on click, on click, all right. So what I wanna do from here is before we even worried about this selected specific styling, I wanna go ahead and just paste in my generic styling and I'll just explain real quick what this is. So it's pretty much just gonna be a, um, like a transparent card with some uh, padding, so on and so forth. And then whenever you hover over it, it's gonna have a slight background, kind of like that button that we just styled. And the only other kind of special thing about this is on the last child, I have margin bottom zero. And the reason for that is in our modal, we already have a 16 pixel padding all around it. So if all of these cards, since they're gonna stack on each other, if we did have a margin bottom on the very last one, then we're gonna have not only 16 pixels, but 12 pixels from this card as well. So anyways, we're just saying that on the very last card, since we already have padding for the modal, then you don't need to worry about a margin bottom for this. And yeah, there you go. So now what we wanna do is since we have this generic uh, styling for this card, we wanna add in some smart logic here to say when this 
prop that's passed in is selected, whenever this is true, then we want to apply some special styling. And that styling is just going to change the background and the border a little bit just to give it that selected uh, state. So in order to do this, the first thing we need to do is import this uh, CSS method from style components. And we are going to create a variable and we'll just say selected mixin. And this is equal to a little snippet of CSS. And in here is where we could put our select styling right here. So again, all this is doing is it's changing this gray default border and background to a slight shade of green. And I also updated some of these uh, hover properties as well, since uh, you'll see in a bit, but if I didn't have it, it just looks a little bit weird whenever we selected, or excuse me, whenever we hover over the selected card. So now what we want to do in this container is basically say, whenever this is selected, prop is true, then we want to apply this mix in. So how do we do that? Well, first thing we need to do is we need to accept that prop. And how do we do that? Well, we can type it out right here. So put those less than and greater than signs or greater than less than signs. And then we say, what props are we prepared to accept? Well, we're going to be accepting an is selected prop. And that type is going to be a Boolean value. So now, in this component right here, or this div, we can now use this using that templating language that we saw before, dollar sign, curly braces. And again, anything in here, you can pretty much just treat as JavaScript. So with styled components, what we can do is we can actually call a function right inside here. And whenever we do this, what styled components is going to do is it's going to call this by passing in whatever props we define right here. So since the only prop that we passed in is, is selected, we can go ahead and destructure that right here. And now we can pretty much work with it however we want. So all we want to do with the is selected variable is we want to say whenever this variable is true, then what we can do is we can render out this selected mix in. So again, all this div is going to do is it's going to listen for this is selected prop. And if you see back in the main component, that little error that was there, it went away because we typed it out properly and it's now ready to accept this prop. And then once we pass it through, style components is going to call a function to listen to it. And for the logic we wrote, we just say that whenever it's true, then in addition to all this styling, we also want to render this CSS as well, which is going to give that selected state that nice, pretty green background. And all right, I think that this component is good. So what we can do to test it out is go to our account modal and where it said account cards here, let's just go ahead and import this select card. And we'll just hard code in the value true or false whenever we're passing in this prop, but eventually of course that's gonna be dynamic. But anyways, import select card from apps, speed test component select card. All right, and let's actually, let's do this. So the select card is props. We need to pass in a child element. And for that child element, what we can do is pass in that identification. And again, this is going to be dynamic as well, but just to have something that we pass in so we'll pass in that identification and what other props does it take? Is selected, and this is a Boolean. So is selected, we'll say that this one is false. We'll have one be false, one be true, just so we can see the difference in styling. And now another prop that this takes, the last prop is an on click handler. And since we don't have this written yet, what we can actually do is import uh, from Lodash, and that is Lodash. Nope, and this is basically just a function that does nothing. We can use it whenever we need to pass in a function, but we don't have one written yet, which is this exact case scenario. So this all looks good to go, and I'm pretty confident this is gonna work. So let me pass in true to this one. And by the way, um, for anyone who doesn't know this, instead of explicitly passing in true like this, you can also write it like this, 
it both means the exact same thing, passing in a value is true, just a little shorter syntax. And now let me see if anything, all right, so check it out. Now in our modal, we have those select cards and this is the state by default, the deselected one. And you can see that little hover, what I'm talking about right here. And the selected state is green background and a little green border. And like I said, the reason that I uh, added, let me show you. The reason that I added this hover color as well in explicit background is because, well, I'll show you how weird it looks if I don't have it. So you see how when I don't have it, then it changes back to like gray whenever I hover over the selected state. So I just thought that was kind of weird. So whenever it's selected, no matter if I'm hovering over it or not, I just always want to keep it that green color. And there we go. So what I want to do from here is I want to use that select card. And from that, I'm going to make two specialized components. One is going to be called the account select card and the other one is going to be called the network select card. So of course, let's start with the account one since that's the model we're working on right here. And for this can probably just, all right, let me just close all these. Okay. So a new component and that is going to be called account select card. And again, just gonna make my component templating. <laughs> All right, so we're making a component called account select card. Now for this, what I'm gonna be doing, <laughs> you know what, this is so weird. I didn't even type any props yet and my IDE already started to lag. It knows that I'm about to type my interface. Wow. Okay, uh, account select card props. <laughs> this is so strange. Okay, so the way I'm gonna structure this component is I'm only gonna be passing in the account number because remember when I said uh, early on that we want to always use the account number when we can because we don't wanna be copying this account object over and over in all our apps. The source of truth for the account, and by that I mean the account display name and the account display image, it's always in that system slice of Redux. So from the account number, we're gonna be pulling everything out using utility functions. You're gonna see how it works in just a sec, but also keep this component pretty lean. And since this account select card is a specialized version of this select card, let me go ahead and import that right here. So import. Oh, that component select card. All right. So instead of container, we can just say select card. And actually, we probably don't even need this styles file because we got everything styled. So I'm just going to delete this entire file. Okay. So select card, what props are you taking? So we're going to be giving you an is selected prop and an on click handler. All right, so for this is selected prop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if this account number that we pass in, one of these accounts, if it's equal to the active account number, then it means that we should render it as selected. If not, we'll just render uh, the default state, which means it is not selected. But because we need to pull out that property, let me go ahead and steal what we already wrote from here which is our get active account, uh, get active account number selector. Uh, there we go. All right, get active account number. And we also are gonna need to import use selector from React Redux. And okay, so to actually use this in our components, we already saw how to do this, make a constant called active account number. And this is equal to basically that uh, slice of Redux. And now what we can do is since we're gonna be passing in an account number for this is selected state right here, we're gonna say for the prop account number that we passed in, just go ahead and check if it is equal to the active account number from Redux. And then if so, this is gonna be true and the card is gonna light up as green. Now, another thing that we wanna do is we wanna say that whenever one of these cards is clicked, then we wanna set that account number as the active account number in Redux. 
So how do we do that? Well, since we're gonna be dispatching that action creator function, we are going to need use dispatch and we also need to import app dispatch to uh, type it out. So that dispatch function in order to use it, we'll say const dispatch and it's equal to use dispatch. And then the type of this is just app dispatch. Now, instead of writing the logic right in here, I want to create a separate click handler function. So I'll say const handle click and all right. So the logic for this is all right. So this is what we'll do. We'll say that, of course, if we select an account and it isn't selected yet, then, you know, just go ahead and set this account number to the active account number. However, if we click a card and it's already selected, then what we want to do is just deselect it. So we're either going to dispatch an account number or the value of null. So in that case, let's just go ahead and write this logic and write it like this. So if account number equals active account number, in other words, if this account is already selected, then what we want to do is just dispatch did we even get that? Okay, let me go ahead and find in our store manager the function for setting active account number. And we'll import that right here. Import set active account number from apps speed test store manager. And then to use this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dispatch that action creator function and then for the value that we want to pass in, we're just going to pass in null. In other words, this is just going to deselect it. And then as the else statement, so this is saying that if you are already selected, then just go ahead and deselect it. Otherwise, if you are not selected yet, then as the active account number, just set the account number, whatever we have passed in. And we can actually shorten this up a bit where we can say something like this, const payload equals null, or we can say, does account number equal active account number? If so, the payload is gonna be equal to null. Otherwise, it's gonna be equal to account number, and then we can dis just dispatch that payload. All right, and then, yes, this is the on click handler, and I believe that's all right. So this is going to take care of our uh, basically our smart logic. The only other thing that we need to do now is inside this. Hear that dog barking? All right. Well, if I got to listen to dog barking, then I guess you guys do. We'll fight through it together. All right. Now for the content of this select card, what I want to do is I want to display that identifier data, and I don't think I have it imported yet. And for this identification component, I believe that we still have to update some things on here as well. Okay. So in here, we're just going to be passing in three props. And that is what image do we want to display? And then what do we want to have for the top text and the bottom text? So let's just go ahead and export interface. I'll say identification props. All right, so for the bottom text, that's gonna be a string, bottom text. Uh, same with the top text. And then actually the display image is gonna be a string as well. All right, so instead of hard coding everything in, you are now going to accept a string as bottom text, a display image and top text. All right, now, pretty much easy peasy from here. This is where we're gonna display the bottom text. This as the source is where you're gonna use that image or display image prop and then whatever we pass in for top text, uh, display right there. And now that that is all taken care of, then we can go ahead and use it right here. Now to reference that account's display image and display name, I actually wrote a couple hooks to kind of help out with this. And the reason I did this is because 
for the display image, the display image is actually optional. So what I have is if you um, don't have any explicit account image set, then it's just gonna have like this default placeholder image. And also for the display name, if you don't have a display name, then as a fallback, what it's gonna use is the account number for a display name. And I also have it set up where you can pass in a value and it's gonna truncate it to that certain amount. So you'll see in just a second what the heck I'm talking about. But first, let me just go ahead and actually let me do this. We'll see what props we need to pass in. So bottom text, display image, and top text. So bottom text, display image, and top text. And actually for the bottom text, I always want this to be the account number. So I have this truncate function as well. And for this, what we'll say is this, we're gonna truncate the account number and we'll say we're gonna show the first uh, 32 characters. Now for the display image, what we can use is this hook right here and I'll make a variable or constant called display image. And this is gonna be equal to uh, the hook use safe display image. And then this is just gonna accept the account number. And let's go ahead and take a look at what this function is doing. So once it gets the account number, it's gonna select all the account information from a system state, basically exactly where the account is. Don't really need to worry about this. And it's gonna check if that account has a display image already. If it does, then of course, it's just gonna use that one. If not, then it's gonna use this uh, default avatar, this default image that I was talking about. So it's just a kind of handy tool because throughout the app, there's a lot of different places you use this display image on the chat here, here, of course, it's gonna appear right here. And I was just rewriting the same exact logic over and over again, so that's why I decided to make it a hook in case you all uh, wanted to hear that story. And now for the display name, I have other similar logic, so I'll say const display name and this is just equal to use safe display name. And if we take a look at this, then we're gonna be passing in the account number, just like we did right here. But it also takes a second param, and that is the max length. And this is just so you don't display the entire account number. Uh, this is just say, uh, we'll give it something like 16. All right. So again, just to take another peek at this, what it's gonna do is it's first gonna look does this account, based on this account number, does it have a display name already? If so, then we'll just use that. If not, then we'll fall back and use the account number as the display name. And this max length is just to truncate that account number so we don't display like that big 64 character text since you really don't want to display that too often. Let me just delete this. And then for our display name, we can just use that as top text. All right. So now each of these account select cards, all we need to do is pass in the account number and everything else should be pretty much just working, good to go. So to render these out, what I'm gonna do is close everything but this, and then we wanna render them in that account modal, so modal account modals. And all right, so we can get rid of these. Those were just like placeholder data that we had. And now I wanna import two different things. The first thing, of course are these account cards. So let me just replace this. And aside from that, I also want to import this selector right here, get accounts. So this is gonna give you all the accounts from TNBOS. So you can you know, easily use it in any component. So to use this, we're actually gonna need that React Redux. You selector and okay. So again, this account modal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate through all of the accounts that we have on our system. And for each one, we're gonna render out this account card for each. So the first thing we need to do is make a variable called accounts. And this is equal to you selector of get accounts. Now all of our account data is in here. And what I'm gonna do now is just make that render function to render each of these account cards out. So render account cards. 
All right, so actually I think I do need Lodash for something, and that's this. Lodash order by, okay. So the reason that I want this order by function is because whenever I render out these accounts, I wanna make sure that they're displayed in alphabetical order, which they are not right here, but uh, I'll sort them by the display name alphabetically and I don't know, I just think they look a little bit more organized that way, so let's do it. Now, another thing that I wanna point out is that the way that these accounts are stored right here is it's an object and they're all keyed by the account number. However, we really don't care about the key, we just care about the values of these, which are the actual accounts. So this is why uh, I'll make a variable called ordered accounts and this is going to be equal to object.values so basically the values of that dict in other words just the list of accounts now with this list what i'm going to do is i'm going to order it alphabetically so whenever you use this order by from lodash the first thing is what are you trying to order this array right here and what do you want to order by what property well on accounts there is a display name property and that is what I'm trying to order by. So now this is gonna be a list of accounts that's ordered alphabetically. Now with that, what we can do is just map each of those out to this account select card right here. So I'll say return ordered accounts and I'm gonna map each one to an account select card. And since the only property we care about is the account number, we can just destructure that and then pass that in as a prop. And there we go. All right, so this render function is looking good. Pretty much gonna iterate through all the accounts in the system and convert them to account select cards. And now the last thing that we need to do is just say render them out, render all the account cards in this modal. And I believe that's all we need to do. So let's see how it works. All right, <laughs> looking sweet. Let me collapse this so we can see if everything's working. All right, so now hopefully when I click one and select it, check it out. So uh, where is it? Speed test manager. Okay, pretty sweet. So this Linux desktop, huh, this is interesting too. That, mm, I know why. So I was wondering why this isn't ordered alphabetically and it is because even though I comes before L, apparently it's uh, sorting based on uppercase and lowercase. So a little issue that we'll work on later, but either way, you can see that whenever I click uh, this one, for example, What's gonna happen is it's gonna call this dispatch method to set this BBBB or BBB as the active account number. And now you can see whenever I click it or AAA, then it's gonna to update to dispatch that. And whenever I click one of these again, it's gonna set null. So there you go. Looks like everything is working properly. I gotta say this is pretty sweet UI. Pretty proud of this one. A lot more proud than my button that is. All right, so next up, what we'll do is we'll tackle this issue right here. So right now, this identification is being rendered in this top component, and whenever it's rendering account content, since it now does have an active account number, instead of the button, it's rendering this spaced items. Oops. The space items in the space items contains this identification component, and it's throwing some TypeScript uh, warnings right now because we typed it out and we didn't pass in any props right here. However, what I'm actually going to do is kind of restructure things just a wee bit. And the reason I want to do this is because right here, of course, in this top card, we're using this identification layout. And also, well, I don't have that button anymore, but remember that modal, that account modal in those account select cards, we're also using this. I can't account identification uh, element right here. Now, in order to avoid, 
me see if I can find it, the account select card. So in both of those places, what we are gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, plucking off the safe display image and safe display name and passing it through to identification. And just to avoid having to have that same exact logic in two different places, we can abstract it out to an account identification. And I'll show you in just a second. Identification, okay. So new component. And then new styles file. All right. Actually, let me keep this account select card open because I'm gonna be stealing some things from it in just a bit. So the first thing is probably this right here because in this account identification, all I wanna do is just pass in the account number like before and these props are called account identification props. All right, so the purpose of this is basically just to render out this identification object in a more standardized way. All right, so we also need to pass in this class name and let me prettify this. All right, so first thing we need to do is import identification. Then what else, truncate. Basically gonna be moving a lot of this logic. That's all I'm really doing here. And let's see, account number, it's gonna be passed in. Uh, display image and display name. We're actually not gonna pass those in as props. Instead, what we're gonna be doing is using these hooks, system hooks. All right, let me just borrow you real quick. All right, pretty cool. So this is all we're gonna do for this account identification. And again, the reason that we have this is because now in our account select card, we can pretty much just delete all of this. we can just use this account identification and pass in the account number. And that is gonna clean up that component a bit. And also in this top element, where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? All right, and now in this spaced items, I wanna rewrite a bit of this too. Since right now you see that we hard coded in this identification object and then this icon. Well, that was kind of just for a placeholder. What we really wanna do is just be able to pass in any two valid React nodes, and then we're just gonna render one on the left and one on the right. So let's import. Import React node from React, and then spaced item props. So like I said, we're gonna be passing in two props right here, and then we'll say left content, and this is gonna be equal to a React node, and same thing with the right content. So we're gonna be passing class name, left content, and right content. The left content, of course, is gonna be displayed on the left. And the right content, instead of this icon, it's gonna be displayed on the right. Purdy it up, purdy it up. Delete what we don't need, and that is looking good for spaced items. A proper spaced items component. So now in here, what we can do is this. So if we do not have an active account, then go ahead and render the button, kick off the modal so we can select one. Otherwise, instead of returning select items, I actually wanna split this out just a bit more. I'm gonna, let's see, render active account. So, 
So if we do have an active count, then we'll just go ahead and render it. And the return value for this is just gonna be spaced items. However, spaced items now is gonna take some props. And the props that it takes is a left content and a right content. Now for the left content, we are gonna be using this account identification that we just wrote. So components, account identification. Let me import that. So let me copy this. All right. So if we have an active account, then we want to display the account identification is left content and the account number for that is just the active account number. So account number equals active account number. And it is saying, all right. So the reason that we're getting this type script issue is it's saying string or null is not assignable to type string. And that is because it says string is only acceptable here. In other words, you need to have an account number. However, this active account number that we're passing in, since we're selecting it from Redux and it can technically be string or null, then it's uh, saying, hey, if you throw me a null, I'm gonna flip out, I don't know what to do. However, what we can do is we can safely add this exclamation mark. And the reason that we can do this is because we know in this function, whenever we don't have an active account number, or in other words, whenever it's set to null, then we're just gonna return the button and never call this function. So we're only gonna call render active account if we indeed do have an active account number. So we can let TypeScript know that we're always gonna have it at this point in time. So don't worry about us, we I. So again, on the active account, the left portion of this, just like you see right here, this is gonna be this account identification looking good. And to the right of this is where we're gonna render that pencil icon. And whenever we click this, this is also gonna display that modal. So on that note, let's first go ahead and import the pencil icon. And I believe that icon was in, yeah, right here. So we had that icon in spaced items. Let me just close some of this out. All right, so before we had that icon uh, styled in space items because we were just using it as kind of a template, but now we can move it to where we actually need it, which is top. So just move all of this over and all right. So now this icon is a component that we can use in top. So we are saying for the right content, you just wanna display the icon. And the path for this is gonna be this pencil icon. And for the size, we'll say 28 pixels. Or actually, you don't need pixels, just 28 right there. And now, holy moly, okay. Actually, I think what you do is you pass in this like that. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so now the last step for this left section right here is we need to add that on click handler. So whenever we click this pencil icon, then it pops open the modal as well. However, I have a feeling that we need to do something a little bit unique for this. Okay. If I remember correctly, yeah, it's not auto completing. So I already know there's gonna be an issue. But anyways, the reason that we can't add this on click to this icon directly let me just make sure. Well, we can, but it's gonna throw some errors. It's uh, not the best practice. Um, I remember reading before why we weren't able to add this on click right on this icon directly. And that is because um, the material icons library, they specifically did not allow this because they uh, said that this icon is supposed to be display element only. And you should only add on click to like regular clickable elements like links and buttons, so on and so forth. So that's why it's saying, hey, um, this prop is gonna throw some errors. Now to get around this for the time being, what we can do is uh, let's just do this. You can just make a div 
And in this div is where we're gonna put our icon and then we can just move this on click handler to the div. Eventually, what we probably wanna do is make a separate like clickable icon where we can just pass in this pencil. And I say this because we are basically gonna end up rewriting the same exact thing, one for rendering the active account, which we have right here, and then the other for rendering the active network, by the way, let's make sure that works, looking good. And, you know, just to uh, keep everything nice and dry, it'll probably be best to eventually split this out into its own component. But for right now, uh, everything appears to be working. So, let me just fix these errors. It's kind of annoying me. All right. So I think we're to a pretty good stopping point right now. Got all the account logic working on the left. So whenever we, well, what we can do is we can have no account. This is the default. We click this, it pops open this modal and we can just select one in this updates our Redux state. And then once we have one selected, got this nice little pencil icon to pop that open again. And yeah, looking pretty sweet. So one other thing I saw is this is probably too much text on the bottom. So I'm gonna trim that down a little bit. And once that's done, we're ready to start moving on to this network section. So uh, a lot of work so far, but to be honest, I'm kind of digging this little app right here. A pretty cool speed test app. So I'm pumped. Uh, good job so far and see you in the next video.